we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section matrices and determinants this problem is on a given system of linear equations about its consistency and inconsistency this question has appeared in the joint entrance examination main held on 27th june 2022 in the first session the given question is let the system of linear equations x plus 2y plus z is equal to 2 alpha x plus 3y minus z is equal to alpha minus alpha x plus y plus 2z is equal to minus alpha b inconsistent then alpha is equal to we are given four options option a 5 by 2 option b minus 5 by 2 option c 7 by 2 option d minus 7 by 2 we are given a system of three linear equations in three unknowns this is the given system and this system is inconsistent then we have to find alpha so that means for what value of alpha this given system is inconsistent that is the question that's the given problem to us we now discuss the solution of the problem in detail let's now write down the matrix equation of the given system of non homogeneous linear equations these are linear equations these are non homogeneous because the right hand side is not equal to zero in in every equation and even if it is not equal to zero even in one equation that is sufficient for us and to say that this is a non homogeneous linear equations so the matrix equation is ax is equal to b where a is called the coefficient matrix it is formed by the coefficients of the unknowns x plus 2y plus z will give you 1 2 1 for the second equation alpha 3 minus 1 for the third equation minus alpha 1 2 capital x is the column vector of variables capital b column vector of the values in the equation right the given system is inconsistent that means to say it has no solution if delta is equal to 0 and at least one of delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 is non zero where delta is the determinant of the coefficient matrix a and delta i is same as delta with the ith column replaced by capital b for i is equal to 1 2 3 okay now let's now call the delta that is equal to determinant of a and uh, determinant of this matrix determinant of 1 to 1 alpha 3 minus 1 minus alpha 1 2 now let's expand this determinant by the first row and simplify we'll get 7 plus 2 alpha that is the determinant value delta is equal to 7 plus 2 alpha delta is equal to 0 if alpha is equal to minus 7 by 2 so students normally stop here and uh, search for the answer the answer is there in one of the four options they stop here but however however you have to convince yourself at least one of this delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 is non zero that i will show you in the next slide agreed so 
delta determinant of a is equal to 0 if alpha is equal to minus 7 by 2. Now take this delta, replace the first column by the column vector b that is 2 alpha minus alpha, then you will get delta 1. So delta 1 is equal to this first column is replaced by 2 alpha minus alpha. So you get delta 1 here, the determinant delta 1 we got and expand this by the first row, yes. And simplify, you will get 14 minus 2 alpha plus 4 alpha, that is equal to 14 plus 2 alpha, but alpha is equal to minus 7 by 2, 2 alpha is minus 7, so 14 minus 7, that is equal to 7, not equal to 0. So one of these delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 is not 0 for alpha is equal to minus 7 by 2. Therefore, the given system is inconsistent. It means to say it has no solution if alpha is equal to minus 7 by 2. Let's look at our options. Our answer alpha is equal to minus 7 by 2 appears against option D. Therefore, the answer to this question is option D. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of the problem which is based on consistency and inconsistency of the given system of non-homogeneous linear equations from the section matrices and determinants. I am sure that you have understood the solution of this problem and I wish you all the best. Thank you.